Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components and today our topic will be the proper crating and packaging of aircraft wings and control surfaces. Over the years we've seen many different methods and styles of crating and packaging, but this method that we are going to look at today seems to work very well for us in minimizing shipping damage. A simple method for constructing a wing crate is to use simply sheets of half inch plywood. Uh, these can be cut down uh, depending on which height that you need. A six foot wing crate for Piper wings, a five foot wing crate for Cessna wings. Uh, most Cessna wings are going to be 16 feet long or 14 feet long in the case of a Cessna 150 wing. So four sheets, each four foot wide, works very nice for constructing a wing crate. The sheet of plywood can be cut down to uh, whatever height you need. The remaining piece can be used then for the floor and the ceiling of the wing crate. The upright sheets of plywood and then the uh, ceiling and floor pieces of plywood are then joined together, nailed or screwed, uh, whatever method uh, you prefer. We use two by two components in the corners for both the ceiling and the floor. Two by fours, anything that is uh, handy uh, would work just as well for that as well. We also uh, install a stiffener down the side of the crate just to stiffen up uh, both uh, left and right walls of the crate. The ultimate idea is to have the wing shipped in a vertical position with the leading edge facing downward, supporting the whole weight of the wing along the length of the leading edge. A six foot wing crate laid flat in a semi truck is simply a six foot shelf for them to stack more pallets on top of. Different types of packing material that we use uh, for crating. We prefer to use this sheet uh, style of uh, foam rubber. Uh, a thin piece of foam has been rolled up and duct taped together would make a nice thick uh, padding area as well for a wing. Carpet padding uh, rolled up in a log would also be a, a good way of uh, packaging wings as well. Once the crate is constructed, the wing can then be loaded into the crate again in a vertical upright position with the leading edge facing downward. Once the wing is installed into the crate, it needs to be fastened into the crate structure. Our preferred method is to use a simple piece of angle iron that has been cut with a hole drilled to accept the bolt for the wing spar attached fitting. Uh, once the wing is placed on top of the attached fitting, uh, just a regular hardware store bolt will be fine for attaching the wing to the bracket. This particular crate is set up for two wings, for a pair of wings. Of course, a single wing crate would simply be a narrower version of this uh, style here. On Piper wings, with their I-beam style of construction on the main spar, supporting these wings is simply accomplished with some 2x4s across the crate, supporting the weight of the wing on the spar channel. Of course, we have a variety of different sizes and dimensions of crates in stock at any given time so at any moment we can send a crate to you if you don't have the time or materials available for building a crate 